let's hope they raise that minimum wage to $15 an hour. I want to buy more toys. Hardcore G1 Transformers fans knows exactly what this is. All of you not in the know are asking, why is Sunstreaker red? And what is that inside? Oh, it's a little driver. All right, this isn't actually from the Transformers line. This is not Hasbro. This is a Takara. Takara, whatever. This is a Diacron. Came out probably around 82. Uh, they only had a few different transfers. They had this, they had an Ironhide, Trailblazer. I think somebody else. And they all came with a little figure. They came with this little guy right here. Those little black things on his feet. Those are magnets. Stand them anywhere. Here, let's check out his magnet feet at work. Woo! Cool. These sell for quite a few bucks because look how small they are. They are rare. Everybody lost these. I lost these. It's a running theme in all of these videos. I lose all these toys. I rebuy them on eBay and then I end up making videos. But this is the exact color of the one I had too. Uh, this is the second one I bought. I don't know what figure line this one came out of, but that one set me back about thirty dollars. Each of them set me back about thirty dollars. If you watch the you know auctions, pretty like a hawk. Bid on the last couple seconds. Maybe you'll get them for like 25 bucks, but 25, 35 bucks is what you're going to spend on these dudes. This one is the one that usually came with the Diaclone and Diacron stuff. There's other ones, a couple of different colors. Get a look at the back. This one right here, I don't know what this came from. I just found it searching through eBay and I got them for 25 bucks or so. And that was before I found him. This is the exact one I had when I was a little kid and it's perfect for my son streaker. But there's a little bit of a difference on them. I'm pretty sure the original one I had I lost fell into the heating grate in my living room down in the floor. Uh, yeah, you can imagine that. Things about the size of, about, it's only about an inch tall, so, yeah, you can imagine that. Ever wonder what that weird little slot was in the back of Grimlock's back? Well, so that's a little place for him to fit in and ride around. Also fits nicely into Mirage. About that, Mirage is just a car. Kind of playable, but now he's really fun. Could also ride around in Wheeljack. Where he used to hide Optimus Prime's hands inside of his chest. I think it was really designed for a little guy to drive around in. I know the original... Seeker Jets came with the little figures in Japan, but I could never get that to close. Usually that's just a spot where you hide the landing gear. And here is him next to Bumblebee. This is actually more, you know, scale correct, I'd suppose. The original G1 Transformers in Japan were called Diaclones. They imported them over to America as Diacron, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I think what the toy line really comes alive with, you know, all those little compartments and all the Transformers, all the seats. 
is the Optimus Prime's trailer. Look at look at all these little seats all over the place. I mean, Optimus was a fun toy, but I already had one of these figures. Most of my friends in school didn't have one, and I just had I think so much more fun. Look, that I got a guy sitting in there, somebody to interact with, Optimus. The fun part is, you know. Is a little person to play with them. That's why headmasters were so fun. You had somebody driving them around, stuff like that. Other than that, they're just Transformers weren't the most playable toys. Other than when they were in their vehicle mode, when they're transformed, all they would do is just stand there. I mean, maybe their arms moved half the time, but this made this became a playset. Without a little figure, there wasn't really much to do with this. So, this made Optimus Prime infinitely more fun to me. And then, when I lost this guy, it wasn't quite as fun. So, here we go. Look, even his little wheeler guy becomes more playable. I think the original... Diaclone version came with a couple of figures because look, he's, there's a little workstation, more workstations. Somebody's got to drive Optimus. I love tiny little action figures, plus the little Diaclone pilot, driver, whatever you want to call him. You could also hang out with this guy. All right, all you toy buffs know what that is. That's Corgi Batman. Fits in the Corgi Batmobile. Also made that car far more playable. Woo! I showed this to my friend after I got it from eBay in the mail, and he thought I was nuts when I told him how much I paid for that. So I said, hey, a real Transformers fan, you're not complete without having one of these guys. I mean, this, this is serious G1 stuff. It's pre-G1. Takara. I used to use my little driver as Spike because he hung out with all the Transformers. Could fit him in just about any of the G1 Transformers. They all had a little spot. But thanks to the Transformers community, the customizers community, they got all these third party bootleg toys out there somebody ended up making spark plug and spike a real one same size maybe a little bit smaller but comes with a little helmet a stand i think a little wrench too this is crazy actually he's a little bit smaller than the little diacron diaclone driver I don't even try and put them on the stand because I figure that'll break and I never take them out of the little clamshell resealable package because I figure I'll lose all this stuff. I don't think I paid more than 10 or 12 bucks for this on eBay. They're probably still out there. Made by impossibletoys.com. I don't know if that website's still out there either, but you should. Without a little bit of Googling, you should be able to find these if you're interested in them. Here's a little closer look at spark plug. How do you even mold something that small? Look at how small that little wrench is. Like that. Here's my finger, my fingernail. 